Hi there, Wendy here from Dress So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Sage from Disney Star Darlings. So let's get started. With Sage, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a nice wide curve for the bottom of her face. So I'm going to come to the other side and connect it. So nice and wide, even curve. And then from there, we're going to go straight up to the center about right here and we're going to bring down a curve for the for her hair so her hair practically covers a lot of her face and we're going to bring it around back to this point right here and curve so the same thing on the other side just come down once again we're aiming for this area So that's the shape you're aiming for towards the center. And then from there, let's just bring her to life first before we start to draw her amazing hair. So right here towards the edge, I'm going to draw her eyes. So it's not going to be a complete circle because her hair is covering a lot of her eyes. So about right here, I'm going to start to draw as if I was going to start finishing a circle and just end it there. So same thing on the other side, We're about right here towards the edge and then let's make them draw so cute eyes so right here I'm just going to add two small circles for highlights and the curved line at the bottom and shade in the top So thank you for your continual <laughs> thank you for your continual requests that introduces me to all these new characters and new shows. I really appreciate them. And thank you for your patience because um, I get a lot of requests and it's really hard to draw all of them, but I really want you to know that I do appreciate all of them. So right here, two small circles and curve line at the bottom and shade in the top and the lines at the bottom so there i got the eyes in and so we're going to come up here just a little bit indication of her eyebrow right there and on this other side as well. And let's um, give her a sweet little smile right here in the center and cap it off. There, we got her face in. So now to tackle her hair. So right here in the center, let's start off by drawing a star. So the way I like to do it is right here since I already have my center, I'm gonna come up right here to the top and connect it with my five points there so I got my star in and then from there we're gonna go straight up once again so just give yourself a nice little line and right here this is her hair parts in the center then about right here we're gonna start to part it and before we finish that off she has this braid but uh, well let's draw her um her little uh, tiara first right here so band in her hair <laughs> um so right here where the star is i'm going to draw a curve first i almost forgot about this little band right here and then from there we're going to draw just to add some jewels just add two small circles to the side of it and complete your band so just bring it in okay so there sorry about that Hope that wasn't too confusing so then from there she has these two braids that come to the side so right here I'm going to um, well, let's make this a little bit easier I'm gonna come from here and go down bring this curve down so this is gonna be top of her hair 
a right there. So same thing on the other side, a right there. And then from there we can draw the braid. So we come up here and just draw one, two, three, towards right here, another four curves, bring it in, and then we're gonna head right back up. One, two, so just draw these curves. It doesn't really matter. We're just trying to indicate that these are braids and bring it in. So same thing on the other side. One, two, so this is just the easiest way I've found to draw braids without going to too many details. So just draw these curves like that. So then from, to make them look like braids, come in here and we're gonna draw a zigzag that goes through it. So wherever you have these curves at end, you're gonna go angle, angle. So right here, angle, angle. So it's just these curves, angles that go back and forth. I think I messed up over there. <laughs> so it's basically just these angles that go back and forth through the braid. And we can connect one right here with the big parts right there. So hopefully that made it easier for you to draw the braids. And you can come in here and just smooth it out. So I, I made a boo-boo right here. I should have gone this way. <laughs> okay, but I hope you get the idea. There. Okay, now let's finish off this part right here. Connect it. Now for the top right here, she has a lot of hair right here that kind of parts to the side. So we're going to draw these details. So let's say the first one, we're going to come up. Which is one nice curve. Another one. And let's see here, one more. So same thing on the other side, one, two, and three. So now come back up here and just pop it out right here, wherever your lines were, just to add some volume. Like that. Okay, now finally, let's finish off her hair right here. So I'm going to come out right here, pop it out once again. And I'm going to be aiming for this curve. So I'm going to finish this curve and connect these two lines. Okay, so same thing here. Connect right here, pop it out. And connect it. And so then from there, you can add some details. Once again, just come in here with some lines. Oops. And one more right here. So same thing on this side. Let me pop this one out a little bit more. Just for some details. Like that. And then we bring in some curves right here. Connect it. And connect it. Okay. <laughs> Got enough of her hair now. Let's draw her body. So right here I'm going to give her a tiny little neck. So towards the center. Tiny little neck right here. And we're going to bring it out to her shoulders both sides. So then we're going to imagine where her armpits are about right here and we're going to draw two angle lines that come down. So then with this dress of hers, um, kind of goes all the way up. So I'm going to finish my line. I'm going to go all the way up and then come right here and we draw a V. For, she has a V neck and another one for some details. And right here Let's start on this hand right here. So her hand is kind of bent and on her hip. So I'm going to continue right here where her armpits are. And I'm going to start to bring this in. And so then right here I'm going to stop and cut it off because she has this little ruffle. 
because our sleeves is only about three quarters. And then we're going to continue the hand again, bringing it in to her hip and then her hands. And right here, just add two little lines, indication for fingers. So let's continue this. So her dress is just very simple. We're going to bring it down more. About there. Now let's draw her other hand. So about right there, we're going to cut it off once again. Add the ruffle. And right here, her hand is just to her side. So we're just going to come up and connect it. Okay, so then from there, let's um, finish off her dress right here. So it's a nice little wave. And connect it. And right here, we're going to draw her necklace. So towards the center right here, I'm just going to give myself a point and I'm going to draw a nice big star. And then I'm going to connect it with these small circles that kind of go up for her necklace. There. And then you can come here and just draw some lines. Just flick it up to give some folds in her dress and her feet. So right here, I'm going to imagine where her hips and her feet's going to come up about right here at an angle. And same thing on this side. and connect it. So right here I'm going to add a little ruffle once again for her socks and continue and connect it right here. So this is her boot and we're going to follow the same angle and connect it for her shoe. So that's the same thing on this side. Connect it ruffle. Once again, continue this angle and curve and her boot. So about the same and connect it. So there, got her boots in. And so for some little details right here, she has these stockings that has some um, stars on it. So I'm just going to draw three little stars just to indicate that there are stars on her stockings. So right here, same thing. Sorry if I was going too fast. If I am, please just pause the video. So there are three little stars right there. And so now to finish off her hair. So come about right here. I'm just going to finish it off, draw a little curve and connect it. So on the same right here and we're just going to sweep it back. So you just add some lines if you wanted for some details. So there, Sage from Disney Star Darlings. Hope you guys love how it turned out. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Drasa videos. See you later.